So guys, today I would like to check the price of most important grocery products in Russia after Russian sanctions. Let's go. So first I see different techniques here. Fans to this price, 3,000 rubles. But I guess the thing that I only need to check the price out is uh, Fridgers. Okay. The small fridge cost this price almost 14,000 rubles. Who is the producer? Craft. Maybe, Maybe Russian. I don't see here, you know, like country, but nothing is written. Chinese. Do you think Chinese? Okay, guys, what do you think? Who is the producer? LG. LG is well-known brand. Turkey. Now they write Turkey. Ah, by the way, yeah. Last time when I saw it was Turkey, but it sounds like bird Turkey. Now it's Turkey. It's Turkish name, like they write the name in Turkish language, not in English. So, okay, let's go further. This supermarket is so huge. things wow so many options see what the Russian style where is it Chinese uh, kettles no. which one <laughs> ah this is yeah Russian style kettles guys do you have this kind of kettle in your country for instance my family my mother she has this one also we have this one chigunny kastrul Okay, well guys, if you come to Russia, maybe the first time the prices might be for you expensive because last time uh, per one dollar it was 77 rubles, but today I have checked it out, the price for one dollar is 56 rubles. Okay, dishes, plates not so most important things i don't say all of this are most important ah banki yeah it is almost season of making salads uh, autumn salads wow russian people they exactly love um, autumn winter salads so when it is harvesting when they have a lot of um, vegetables, fruits, cherries, berries, they make jams, kampot, kampot is a traditional drink, they can drink it during winter and also they can make salads, winter salads, wow, kvass, this is chocolate kvass, why it's too dark color, двойного брожения, Duchess, this one also the taste of my childhood. Which one? This is by Carl. Okay, guys. Also, you can taste cola here. Legend recipe. Okay, good job. Many <laughs> choice. Tarhun, Tarhun also the taste of my childhood. We are. Wow. Cola. Cola. <laughs> and also cola. They tried to change their yeah, the name. So many options here. But I I'm quite afraid of buying these colorful drinks. Have you tried Tarhun? 
Did you try Tarhun? You see this one? Wow, the bottle looks like wine bottle. Yes? Yes. <laughs> first time I see. Yeah, this is my first time. We have Tarhun, but it is like in the plastic bottle, not like this, yeah? Glass bottle. Amazing. Yeah, price is 65 rubles. Duchess. Do you love Duchess? Also Barjomi. Barjomi is a Georgian drink. Uh, sparkling water, natural sparkling water. Okay, let's continue. Orange. Orange. Wow, why it's orange? Vanilla. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing. How it tastes, yeah? <laughs> I'm quite wondering how it tastes. We only have this Coca Cola. Energy drink. What is that? Big one. Energy thing? Uh, yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this energetic drinks can help? I've never tried energetic drinks. Just, I guess the taste, I mean, the effect is like coffee. What is here? Barjomi. Barjomi, oh yeah, Barjomi. Yeah. Sparkling water in different tastes. Tasai, we have in Kazakhstan Tasai. 56 rubles. These are like perfect shoes to walk after rain, when it's dirty outside. We call it... Um, how we call it? I forgot. Galosha. Ah, Galosha. Yes. <laughs> and price. 300 rubles. This <laughs> oh, What was that one? No, I mean this one is better for after raining. Ah. Yeah, you see. Oh, okay, okay. And in it is longer. Yes. Like height, height is um, higher <laughs> after yeah. rain. During spring, yes, it is perfect shoes. So in Kazakhstan, we also have this brand, my Simia, Fructovy Sad, Dobry, J7, per two liters, or this is, yeah, per two liters, 190 uh, rubles. Yeah, we don't have this. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have this one. Prosok, maybe, but I, I didn't uh, see Prosok in Kazakhstan. And also, I didn't see Kazdi, Kazdi day in Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is I. No, no, no. Russian vodka, where's vodka? Or oh, cognac, cognac. Is it is cognac from Russia? No. Cognac. Oh Too many types of cognac. But it's cheap. Do you think that the cognac is cheaper? No, I mean, Be careful with your bag, please. Do you see here our vodka? And vodka with taste, do you see? With berries. 
The Russian standard. Russian standard vodka. Wow, big vodka. Two thousand Tsar Tsar is king. This one, I mean. Which one? This? Oh, yeah, in Kazakhstan we also have this vodka. 1,000 rubles. Finlandia. Redberry vodka. Okay. <laughs> Price is 1,700 rubles, almost. Which one? Jack Daniels. Ah, Jack Daniels. Is it cognac? Yeah, this one, you see? Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. Whiskey. Yes. Ah, whiskey, whiskey, yes. Whiskey is cool. Okay, which kind of alcohol drinks do you like, guys? I don't know, I've never tried them. I've tried only wine, to tell the truth. Oh, wow. <laughs> So that's why we call Russia country of vodka. But first time uh, during um, Second World War, they called Russian people made vodka, but Samagon, yeah? Samagon. It was Samagon. How, do you remember how they did Samagon? I guess um, they mixed vodka with sugar or something like that, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Ah, no, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, not vodka, it's alcohol, spirit is translated as alcohol, Transla uh, alcohol mixed with sugar. Here's beer. Beers? Wow. <laughs> so, medavucha, this is not beer. Without alcohol. No, beer without alcohol. Ah, you're right. Medavucha. Svishni. I've tried Medavucha in Czech Republic, in Prague. Yeah, you see Germany. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I see Germany. And this. Czechia, yeah, Czech Republic. So I, I really loved Medavucha in Czech Republic. It was just like little glass. What is it, El? Garage, we have. Garage? Awesome. This one? Yeah, we have in Kazakhstan, yeah. But it's actually Russian brand. Yeah, Russian people are full of beer. Maybe they tend to drink beer. And here are also beer. There are beers. Oh, the raw beer. And here. What is it? it, it it's not beer. Yeah, beer. It is written Piva. Oh, it is local. Ah, local, local product. Lesh. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah. Lesh is kind of fish. Maybe this piva, this beer is good with lesh, yes? Glechik? <laughs> what is it, glechik? I don't know, but horse. Horse? <laughs> okay. Pшеничные белые, нефильтрованные. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. What is this? Bochka. For what? Is it people? Yes, wow. Yes, like this. One and bomb. five liter. Bomb. Like a blah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the bottle is kind of funny. Lace is here. Oh, okay. Lace stayed in Russia. <laughs> Prinkles also. Well known brand. Yes. Nice, nice. So prices you can see, you just only need to divide them to 56. So then you can convert it to dollars. Oh, in my childhood we used to eat this. Yeah. 
because we didn't have that period of time lays or other crepes we only eat this one salty one okay and also this one crendili solo okay popcorn wow they have all, also cheese popcorn popcorn cheese costs 51 rubles almost one dollar sunflower oil Rasianka is Russian girl it costs like this 255 rubles olive oil So prices are like visible for you, I guess. Here are different seasonings. So this seasoning for borscht. Borscht is Russian traditional soap. Also for plov. Plov is Uzbek traditional food, but even though it is served here in Russia the same. This is kisel. Kisel is also powder to make juice. We need to mix this powder with water uh, and add some sugar. So here are salads, autumn salads, like this. Last time I showed you jars and uh, usually Russian people make this one lichua during autumn for um, winter and they make ikra so they mix some vegetables and mix them tushonka yeah tushonka this kind of uh, cans they used first time they were produced during second world war Baranina, tushone, yeah, this is lamb meat in this can. This one? Yeah. But do you think that products in can are healthy for our, for us? What do you think about that? No? Yeah. Last time um, uh, I've heard that this is aluminium, made from aluminium and it's very dangerous for people it may affect to the brain illness ah oh, this is Uzbek plov wow with uh, beef <laughs> with uh, chicken okay that great stuff this is kasha so when you go to the camps, camps you can buy this, this, or that's Tushonka. Also there are different Japanese, Chinese, Korean seasonings, noodles. Yeah, Dasharak. We don't have, do you think? Maybe, maybe. But the Shrek is also like famous brand of Russia for uh, quick made foods, yeah? Fast foods. Like like this. When we go to... When we travel train. by train, yeah, when we travel by train, we can buy this one and to try. Um, we only have this color and this. But I didn't see, yeah, blue one. And Rolton is also like famous brand of quick made noodles only five minutes and it will be ready but it's not really nutritious like even if you feel that you are full but it's not really nutritious and this is a minced potato only need to add some water and to leave it for five minutes so the potato will swallow not swallow I mean will be bigger so that you can eat. Also the shrek in this kind of thing, like uh, minced potato. Price is 41 rubles. Big Lunch also famous brand here uh, in CIS countries. So these are vermichel, macaronis. So 
So CIS countries, like especially Russian people, love to make macaronis from this one, from Rakushki, if I'm not mistaken. Seafood. Yeah, I see. Which, wow, cancer. <gasps> wow. Salty cancers. We don't have the egg. No, no, we don't have this one. Oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> what is this? Midi. Oh, okay. I've tried, did you try this one? So how, how it tastes? Did you like it? Kriviatki. Asminok. Wow, octopus. Where this one is produced? Tell me, please. Russia, Kaliningradska, Mayakovsky. It's from Russia. The same from Russia, yes? Wow. So Russia is strong with their domestic products. Guys, do you love eating fish? You love this one, yeah? Fish. Fish. So I usually love eating fish, but I don't like how it smells. <laughs> Very st strong smell. <gasps> Ikra. White? No, they are closed fake. in this one. But it's fake. Why they are closed? <laughs> Very strange. Why? Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's maybe because of smell. Mm. Kriviatki. So, how often do you eat this kind of seafood product? So, it costs 500 rubles. Sazan. Oh, you see. Which one? Sea and. Ah, types of. Uh, yes. uh, river. Yeah, river. Rich Nairobi from river. Um, fish from river. And they are maybe seafood. Yeah. Red fish are so expensive, especially these ones. So these are jars. Yes, the one on the Which one? These are pashtet. Ah, oh, yeah, this is fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only the brand name is different, but in Kazakhstan we also have this one. It's almost 40, uh, 74 rubles. Tunets, <laughs> also in cans. So these cans are good for uh, these cans are good for preserving preservation of food, but really harmful. By the way, shprot is also famous in CIS countries. I love to eat shprot, like uh, butterbrot. Uh, like, I mean bread and mayonnaise and shprot. Very nice taste. Chicken. Filia, uh, breast. Where is it? Where are breasts? Grutka. Ah, grutki, this one is breast of chicken. Almost 400 rubles, seven dollars. Kind of expensive, really. For 30 units, it's 230 rubles. Almost four dollars. 
This is garchitsa. Garchitsa also famous Russian sauce. Very savory. I mean, taste is very strong and spicy. This is melon, dinya from Kazakhstan. Cote de Divoire. <laughs> Coconut. Turkey. Turkey. Strawberry from Turkey. Do you see watermelon? No watermelon, yes. Redis. Also famous Russian vegetable. 70 rubles per one kilo. Russian people love to eat this onion, green onion. Zero no look. And also we love Kazakh people. Especially with the barbecue with shashlik. So here are uh, cucumbers, salty cucumbers. Very nice taste. Especially small cucumbers and big cucumbers, they taste are different. We call them salonne agurchiki. Pineapple, 140 rubles. Grapes from India, from Egypt. These grapes, 340 rubles. These are from India, 280 rubles. Kiwi, very sour fruit for me. This um, apple, which is called Prince, we also have in Kazakhstan, but price is expensive when I convert to tenge. Yeah, there is watermelon. It's 40 rubble per one kilo. So would you eat watermelon? <laughs> This is melon. Is it per piece or per kilo? Kilo. kilo. Uh, 90 rubles. Okay. Potato. Oh, yeah, potatoes. Potato per five kilo is 300 rubles. These are red potatoes. They are too small. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah, from Azerbaijan. 70 rubles. So here are dumplings, Russian pilmeni, 145 rubles. These are manti. Kaspiski from Caspian Sea. Great, okay, 233 rubles. Oh, these look like Chinese dumplings. Вареники, dumplings with potato. С картофелем is written 115 rubles. These are cutlets. What, what are they? Chicken, like, like KFC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is almost prepared chicken. Only to heat this one and that's enough. These are pancakes. Pancakes. Where are chibrik? This one, chibrechki. Ah, chibrechki. It is kind of dumplings, but fried. Yeah, pancakes. With meat. This one is with meat. 172 rubles. Also, there are in these packages. Vareniki. What are they? Ah, pilmeni, dumplings with meat. Mounty, variety, 
пицца с ветчиной и грибами with uh, mushrooms and meat 39 rubles here are sausages appetite sausage 209 uh, rubles These are they these are sliced sausages. Much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of different kinds of sausages. Papa Mojet also well known brand in Kazakhstan. I guess there are sausages usually made from pork. Yeah, really huge store, huge supermarket. Kavchone? Smoked meat? This is beef, chicken. Sausages, mix it with cheese. 310 rubles. These are cheese with placing. Placing is like bacteria when something is going off. Local food. I'll taste. Oh, yeah, local cheese. Sorry. For this piece, you should pay 134 rubles. Price is okay. Different cheese with different tastes. Wow, with berries. Milk product, сырок. Mm. Wow, when I was like a child, my mom usually bought me this kind of cheese product. This one costs 30, 37 rubles. Prastakvashino also famous brand in Kazakhstan, the same, 84 rubles. Where is it, Kumus? I don't see what Kumus. Milk, only milk. <coughs> Yogurts, kefir, 2.5% of fat content, 90. 95 rubble. Tan. Tan is kind of kumus. 55 rubles. Also, there are cashbacks. Cash, cashbacks, yeah, 5%. If you have the card from this supermarket, so you will get discount or cashbacks. Some cookies here, like this pranikim for children. <laughs> Seventy eight rubles. Waffle also. I really love to eat waffle. Forty, uh, almost fifty rubles. This is sushki. Sushki. Bubliki, sushki. Bubliki is a bigger one. This is small one. It's called sushki. 25 rubles. These are ah, baranki. These are baranki. 
crossings, 60 bubbles. This place looks like a huge bazaar. Honey. This are honey, yeah? Alpiski Grishichny. 255 rubles. Do you see Altai honey? No? I don't see Altai. Ah, here. Altai, this is like their own product from Russia. 523 rubles. I really love honey because my name is translated as honey shine. Sneakers. Why sneakers are here? Nope. They also new should one. be closed. Ah, new sneakers. Like made in Russia. I'm not sure, but this new Arachis Mmm. By the way, here are sneakers, Twix, salone caramel, salty. Wow. This is Alenka, like famous Russian chocolate. You brought me last time, yeah, from Moscow. Russia, Russia. Chocolate named as Russia. Yeah, many kinds of chocolate here. <coughs> With mint. Yes. Starbucks. Roast coffee. Three hundred sixty five rubles. Ahmad tea, also famous brand in Kazakhstan. Greenfield we also have. This is, I guess, special tea from this logo of supermarket. Check out price for bakery products. This croissant costs 29 rubles. This small bulochki, we call it bread, which is called 5 rubles. Ponchik. Yeah, we could buy ponchik. Okay, no. <laughs> it's fried one. One piece costs 25 rubles. So, what we have here? Bulochki. Okay, these are pastries, sweet pastries. 16 rubles, different ones. This is with cheese, cottage cheese. 55, 50, yeah, 55 rubles. This kind of bread, 25 rubles. With corn. This bread with corn is 72, 73 rubles. This bread, for instance, cost 39 rubles. 
This one costs 75 rubles. White bread. Oh my god, different breads. Sliced breads here also. This is their domestic bread. I'll type 39 rubles. Black breads are here also. 66 rubles. This is lavash for shawarma, Georgian, oh no, 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 Armenian lavash, 46 rubles. Well guys, thank you for watching this video till the end. Um, I tried to show you all the price for grocery products and uh, some changes in the difference between Kazakhstan and Russia grocery products. So, hope to see you next time and I will be really happy for your support. Goodbye!